where the elite go to train. We take advantage of what, where we live. A playground for athletes, but this break demands their respect. The reef and the rocks add a, a technical factor. There's not a lot of area or room for air. Waves at Wind and Sea race into the reef, crashing at angles unlike any other San Diego surf spot. This is the best wave ever. Go fast, turn hard. A challenge pros crave. Just naturally took to surfing. John Maher catching waves in global competitions until he was in his late teens. Now he gets paid to surf, selling his photos at galleries and writing for magazines and for his now popular Hungry Walrus website. It's amazing. I feel so lucky and fortunate. And like many of the greats, his career started here. Maher following in the risk taking footsteps of surfing legends like Birch Van Arnstalen of the 50s, David Eggers, who won practically every contest in the 80s, and Richard Kenvin of the 90s. Former world runner up and pipe master of the year 2000, Rob Machado, and now the latest fearless ones, Lucas Dirksy and Jake Halstead, the 2013 Association of Surfing Professionals Junior Series champion. Not only do you have to be an advanced surfer to be out here, but there is certain wind and sea etiquette. They actually have a lineup going on where they're taking turns catching each wave. Don't get anywhere in the way. That's really important, you know. It's like if you're on the shoulder trying to drop in on some, you don't do that. You just, if someone's on a wave, you respect them. I'm still younger, but I mean, I get more waves than some of the little kids. Outsiders not always welcome to this location marked by the surf shack built in 1946, now a historic landmark. I actually didn't surf here for a year because I was super intimidated. Wind and sea surfers notorious for being territorial. The culture caught a bad rap in the late 60s with the book The Pump House Gang by Tom Wolfe, describing the local lifestyle as surfers pulling drug induced ragers and scaring away tourists. These days, tourists are welcome to watch and perhaps show some respect to the moves on the water. I've surfed you know, three times a day if possible. You don't know what else you do if you didn't do it. I'll always surf till I can't surf anymore.